Thank you for spending time with us tonight. I'm Doug Dunbar. It's great to have you. A person of interest tonight, we'll start there, in a deadly Southfield carjacking. That person in the hospital tonight as police are searching for more suspects. CW50's Chris Walker starts us off in Southfield. Southfield Police Chief Elvin Barron says one suspect in connection to a fatal carjacking was injured Sunday night after being hit by the victim in an exchange of gunfire as the father shot back to protect his family before losing his life in his own driveway. He was a devoted husband, a devoted father, and a respected businessman. And when I'm told from the neighbors, he was a good neighbor. Uh, they had a lot of respect for Mr. Hudson. Uh, he's a uh, valid CPL holder, and he does not have any criminal history. This is video of the last moments of Frederick Hudson's life before he was gunned down outside his home on Primary Avenue in Southfield. Police say Hudson was sitting in his Toyota Tundra when a vehicle with three men pulled up. The gunman approached the 48-year-old, opened fire, and fled the scene in the victim's truck. It appears that Mr. Hudson was successful in striking that suspect as he fell to the ground. While that suspect was on the ground, he was able to continue firing and ultimately did strike Mr. Hudson. Chief Barron says he believes Hudson was followed and targeted for the attack. We're still looking for a 2013 white Toyota Tundra, license plates Charles Paul Adam 1749. Again, Charles Paul Adam. 1749. One person of interest is currently in the hospital in critical condition. Two suspects are still on the loose. Reporting in Southfield, Chris Walker, CW15 News at 10.